Hey everyone, it's Carlo Libertini here with Music Marketing TV. And in this video, we're going to absolutely blow your mind. We're going to take a look at Regroover Pro by the good folks at Accusonis. Now this software is really groundbreaking. So let's dive right in. I'm going to, let's see, come up to my instruments panel here in Studio One. And under instruments, I'm gonna choose Regroover Pro and simply drag it onto my track header and the application opens like this. Now it's a virtual instrument. And if you're loading it for the first time, you're going to get this welcome screen, which is really handy if you want to get some quick hints and tips to get you started. And to obviously not see that again, just click don't show this again. Now, what Regroover Pro here is going to do, there's two versions, Regroover and Regroover Pro, which I'm going to be demonstrating here in this example is it's going to take a stereo file, a stereo drum loop, and it's going to analyze it very intelligently. And it's going to separate it out into different layers. And if you've never seen this before, it's truly groundbreaking. Now, you could do this with any WAV file or AIFF file and such. Uh, and you can import them from anywhere on your computer. For example, I can come up to files here in my browser and choose a drum loop, drag it in and let it go. And as quickly as that, the audio has been analyzed and separated. Let's take a listen. There. So what, what are we looking at? We're looking at layer one, two, three, four. And Regroover Pro here offers you up to six layers. Now, a layer is basically a lane that contains specific kinds of timbre and frequency information about what it's separating it out. And to experience that, I'm gonna solo layer one, and let's take a listen here. Mostly snare. Let's go to layer two. Some hi-hat, layer three, some kick, and what's in layer four? Some more cymbal work. That's pretty amazing. Now this was a stereo loop that I just instantly imported and it separated it out like this. Already that's pretty groundbreaking. But a couple things you need to keep in mind before you get started is what's actually happening when you import a drum loop like this into your session. Now, if you noticed, when I, uh, I have sync activated here. If I deactivate this and I press playback within Studio One, it's only going to play my backing tracks. To sync playback of Regroover with your DAW, choose sync like this. But also keep in mind right now, it's saying 120. It'll change the tempo of my drum loop. I want my session here at 110. So I'm going to come in here and put in 110. It'll reanalyze it for me. And there you go. So if you come across a different tempo of playback within Regroover that's not working with your session tracks, it could be as simple as that. Now, when I press playback here in my DAW, I should get everything. It's pretty amazing. Now, I've got these separated layers. A couple things uh, we can start doing now is tweaking the separation here. If you notice, let's come down to layer four again. Let me solo this. You hear this a little bit of the kick beater that's being picked up here in the snare track. Now, if I wanted to tweak this, um, there's a couple of things we could do. One thing I could do here is if you notice each layer as I select it, push select focus on that layer, I've got an effects group right here that I can have custom to each track, up to six of them. Now, let me solo the snare and let me activate. You have a gate, EQ for each lane, compressor and saturation. So let me go back to my gate. I can actually raise the threshold of this to eliminate some of that, and I'll call it bleed because it really isn't bleed, but it's kind of like bleed separation. I mean, this is a new frontier we're talking about here. 
So let me solo that and I'll raise the threshold level and get a more cleaner snare hit. And I'll do it within regroover. So we just hear it. There. Now I can also adjust the EQ, compression, and saturation. And, and we can do that for any one of these tracks. To demo audio within each track in any area, I can hold my shift and command key on a Mac, for example, and just select and see how it's playing wherever I click focus with my mouse. All right, so that's a handy little shortcut for you. The shortcut's a little bit different on Windows, so look that up. All right, now let's get into something that I really personally love. And that's the fact that now that everything is separated out, because I love mixing, I could take what was once a stereo drum loop, and now I can treat it as if it was separate drum tracks. To do that, I'm going to come up to here, and I'm going to activate the output for each track. Let's say two, three, and four. And as I do that, you'll see they're populating here in my mixer, okay? And I'm going to keep layer one and output one. And on each track, I have a separate output. I'll put two for two. Let's do three for three and four for four. All right. Now, if I move this over, you'll see here they are now populated right here. And let's do that. Let's treat it as if we were mixing this separately. Let me close this window. Now, Let's, I'll press play and we'll hear the whole session as if it was they were all isolated, separately recorded tracks. Remember, we've got that gate on the snare too. So let's have a little bit of fun now. One thing I should do here is let's uh, use our good housekeeping techniques and rename where it says Regroover 4. We could actually double click in there and I'll name it now something like RE, uh, and we'll call it Snare. So now I know that is my Regroove Snare. Let's open up our inserts. And let me come down to, let's put in a reverb there. Let's pick our Room Reverb by Presonus here. And let's load one of my favorite uh, presets. Uh, let's see if I can find it quickly. Here we go. There. Here's before. Let's hear everything. Again, before and after. Hopefully you're uh, really getting excited about this as I've been. I mean, I've really been enjoying using this program. So we looked at setting it up. We looked at how it isolates and separates the information. And let's talk about using the editor here now, uh, the eraser tool that is. Now we have a little bit of bleed in some of these hits. What I'm going to do is lock layer two and layer one so the audio can't be affected. Now, I noticed that here in the snare drum track, prior to my gate, which I'm going to deactivate, let's take the, um, let's take some of these tracks here and let's see, come up to my gate function. I'm going to deactivate that. Now, if you didn't want to use the gate and if you wanted to literally tweak the separation, the magic that it's doing, uh, let's solo the snare drum, and you'll hear a little bit of the kick bleed in there. Sounds like a little clacking sound. 
I'm going to activate my eraser tool here and double click where I see the area is. And it's giving me a nice kind of ice, um, nice kind of zone to work with. And you should be able to tweak this a little bit. Uh, double click. And let's see if I can. I'm going to free myself from the grid here. I'm going to turn it off. Okay. And now we can massage the audio that we're selecting more articulately. See this? I only want those blips that represent some of that, let's call it, let's call it, for lack of better words, beater. It sounds like it could be more related to the the beater sound of the uh, the mechanical drum performance itself. You know, it's funny, when you're working with this new kind of technology, you want to use old world terms, uh, and you kind of have a moment where you're thinking to yourself, does that really apply? But as long as it gets the moment, <laughs> as long as it gets the point across in the moment, then I think that's that's what it really <laughs> that's what really matters. Now with these selected, the uh, layer one and two are locked. Layer three is open, and I'm going to hit split. It's going to reanalyze it, and see it now sent that click energy that was located in those up into layer three. Okay. Now, by holding Command here, I'm, I'm selecting mul just multiple individual layers for solo playback. Let me turn my gate back on here on my snare drum, and let's play. Let's play this. There. Now, Regrover Pro also includes an editor. Now, we can use the editor to drag our waveforms into the expansion kit area here, okay? And let me deactivate this so I can actually get this done. Watch as I select this, bring it to C5, and I'm going to do the same with the snare. It, now, you want to grab it here at the bottom like this and bring it to there. Now, when I open up my editor, you'll see I've got these two waveforms waiting for me. Okay, it sounds like I could probably grab a little bit more of that one. Let's come up to a better kick. Yeah, all right. Let me grab some more of that and let me bring it to D5. Go back to my editor. There. Now, I can use this, the tools in the editor, to create envelopes. I can tighten and shorten the sound and, and demo them here. And, and this is great. I can create, I can literally customize the filter, the envelope, the attack, sustain, decay, decay, and release of that. Okay. And the same with if I select focus on the snare. And you can do this for exporting samples. I want it to go right there. And I want a little bit of a fade out, a little extra on the transient attack in the beginning. There. So using the editor, I can now create samples of the work I'm doing. And when all this is said and done, I can come up to export and choose from any one of these options. And if I choose layers, I can export a WAV file for each one of these four active layers. And here we go in my desktop. I already did that here. And there they are. Okay. And of course, I would rename them for good housekeeping. So we've done quite a bit here. But the best way to really experience this is to download a demo today for yourself and to dive right in and try it out. Because programs like this are truly cutting edge and changing the, the uh, industry. They're giving you more creative power. Uh, to utilize. For example, you know, whoever thought you could take a stereo drum file like this and separate it out into individual mixes and then begin mixing them as if they were separated tracks. My name is Carlo Libertini and this is Regroover Pro by Accusonis. Thanks for watching.